Well, the first thing you do is take care of yourself because we love you and you, uh, you get in shape. And if anything is emergency urgent, I'll have a jet plane there to bring you any time. And uh, I won't work uh, awfully close with you. And I think that uh, I think you've got a wonderful chance now to uh, make a great contribution to your party and to uh, the country too. And I just hope that you take the leadership on it because. Uh, uh, we got awful nasty down here. Just got awful nasty. The belly saw left us, and they uh, they threatened all the niggers, and they passed out the stuff, saying we're going to arrest you if you go vote. And it, it just uh, it was the worst thing that you've ever seen in your lifetime. And we've got to keep our underlings now from going hog wild and uh, becoming better. And uh, we've got to try to. Uh, unite the country and uh, do, do like we did when under Eisenhower and uh, at least uh, present a united front we can and then we'll slug it out again in 68. Yeah. Well, I have only two comments. I, mean, uh, I did get a good exchange. I got to a Hollywood actor for a friend from New York. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the left side. And you almost took my friend in Delaware. I don't know. Uh, what what happened up there? Did he uh, have a close race? He finally came through. They told me that he just had to, uh, uh, that I, man, uh, I dropped off there on the way to New York, but they told me that uh, that the governor just had 31% on the polls and Williams had 60-something. Yeah, but he turned out awfully close. It did? Yeah. Well, uh, I thought Carver had a very interesting slogan. What Delaware wants in the Senate is not a policeman, but a statesman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. John's been a little rough on us, a little rough on us, and uh, uh, he and his secretary are going to have to uh, quiet down some. They oughtn't to be so mean to us now. Uh, but uh, I, I hope you can take charge of that group, and I'll work very closely with you, and you know the great respect and the great affection I have for you. Uh, I demonstrated that uh, from the day that... Uh, uh, that old Styles told me you were gonna, you wanted to be leader. Well, it's mutual, you know. And I said in every stump in this country that uh, Arthur Vandenberg had worked with uh, Truman and the communist Greece and Turkey, and I'd worked with Eisenhower and the Formosa Straits and uh, Suez, and that Everett Dirksen worked with Jack Kennedy on test ban and other things. And I think that you've got a unique uh, responsibility, and you're not a good fighter that uh, gets petty and uh, goes after the little things. So please get well. Your country never needed you more. Yeah, thank you.